All right, who's ready to have fun? We're going to have a fun little Saturday morning creative. And today what I was able to make for you guys is this special little fish character. An original character I just came up with. And what I want you guys to do with this is use this as a starting point so that you don't have the excuse of, I don't know what I'm going to create, or you don't have the excuse of, I'm not sure how I'm going to get started. And I also didn't want to finish it too much because I want to make sure that you guys put your imagination and your own creativity into it. So, as you can see, I have this little fish character. Just use regular water-based clay. If you want to do a polymer clay or an oil-based clay, that's, that's fine as well. This is just my preferred method because it's the clay I always use. It's a lot easier, it's a lot faster. If you do, in the end, decide that you want to keep it after you're done, now you're going to want to let it dry just a little bit first. And then what will happen is you'll be able to pop it off. And the reason I use newsprint or newspaper in this is that what you're able to do is pull that out and now you have a hard piece to where you can kind of just hang this on the wall. And there you have it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. Hopefully you guys come back. I want you guys to go out there, have fun, be creative, and create your own little characters that are, I'm giving you a basis point to jump off of and get started. And I want you guys to take it and run with it wherever your imaginations lead. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. And we're about to jump in. I'm going to show you exactly how I created this. So let's jump in there and do it. And we're going to start with a ball of newspaper. And I'm going to kind of make it, kind of scrunch it up into a ball, but make the sides a little bit sharper, almost like the shape of an, like a oval shape, like the shape of an eye. And then all you have to do is grab a big wad of clay, and we're just going to cover this newspaper with it. Okay, just do that. Grab a little bit more for this fun little character exercise. We're going to create a little fish character. And you can do this with or without the paper. The reason I put the paper in there is just so that we have a hollow, depending on how you want to make it. The hollow is just so that if I were to let this dry, you can actually pull that out and have something to, you can actually hang this on the wall. However, that is entirely up to you. And just using some wooden tools or some plastic tools, we're just gonna kind of refine the shape that it has. going for that diamond shape, that almond shape. And then real simply, just start adding shapes to it. And what I want you guys to really do is to really have fun with it. Um, so what we're going to do to start with, is I'm going to give them a nice kind of a bigger fin. We're going to start at the back with a couple of triangle shapes. Give it little bit of a feel back here. Not sure if it's going to be, I'm not sure if too many fishes kind of have this fin. This is kind of more of a shark's fin. You can make a shark if you want to though. We're just going to do that. I might actually add a little bit more to it because I think some of the fish have a thinner fin up top. It's not as strong or as sharp as a shark's usually is. And then what you can do is we're going to do another one. Just right here. Just like that, kind of sticking out the side there. Now, give this 
a little bit more character, or actually give it character, I'm saying. Going to just use my finger to kind of dig in a little bit of a hole for where the eye should be. Make this kind of a cool, cute character. So we're going to make a little bit larger of an eye. Kind of go underneath and kind of pull out so that you so the cheekbone starts to protrude a little bit. Roll up a worm of clay, something like this. Add it right there on top. Just gives it a little bit thicker of a brow if you want it to have that. Grab another wooden tool and we're going to give him a mouth. Uh, yeah, we'll give him a smile, a weird smile like that. Just kind of dig that in. I'm actually going to curve it back, that way it has a weird hook smile. And because that smile is kind of reaching up that way, I'm going to pull this, push this up so the cheekbone is up. And we give a little, another little worm of clay here. And just kind of smooth the top part out. It already started to have character. Now you can continue and put on your own little creative flares. What I want to give you is the basic building blocks so that you can jump off and now that we're actually at a spot to where you have something, you can jump off and really make this your own. Uh, I was about to put nostrils, but this is a fish. So it doesn't need those. So what we're going to do is we're going to put gills. Just grab um, a wooden tool or a plastic tool and we're just going to carve in some gills. What I'm doing is carving in this way. That way it's smooth here and you see the, the ridge on this side. We're going to do the same here. And do a few more. Um, I noticed that this kind of is right, I'm going to shift this back because it doesn't look right there. It looks like he has a fin coming out right under his chin. So pull back a little bit. If the clay is starting to dry out and you're having any issues with this sticking, you can also grab some water and kind of spray it. Now you shouldn't be having any issues because you just kind of started. but. If your clay was a little bit drier, you can always do that and that will help it to stick. I'm going to do one more partial triangle shape and kind of put it at the bottom to kind of to give you the idea that that's on the other side. Although that doesn't look right there. Maybe it has to be even a little bit farther back and a little bit smaller. Something like that. Take some tools to kind of smooth this out and you can even bring more life to it by moving the fin around in different ways. It'll kind of give it a little bit of expression and bring it to life a little more so it's not just this fish on the wall look. And from here, you can do any number of things to kind of bring this out and go even deeper, whether you want to add some spines and things like that for the fin by carving in, things like that. Or you can add in little worms of clay to kind of give some of them to do your spine to make them a little stand out just a little bit more. And then depending on the eye, you can either
even leave it hollow like that. Or if you want to start sculpting some eyeballs in there, just roll up a little worm of a little ball of clay and just kind of get it placed in there. And use one of your tools just to kind of press it in there. And you can either carve in a little pupil to have them look a certain direction. We can do little worms of clay again. We're going to flatten the top, flatten the top side of it and just kind of lay it right over the top. Give him some eyelids if you want. You can make this a little more humanized of a dish and that will help you give it a little bit more character, make it a little more your own. However, if you want to base it more on reality, that'll work too. But, look at that. A little creative fish to get you started on your own creative process and endeavors. Now again, with all these videos, I want to inspire you guys to just get started and to have fun and to really give you a basis to jump off of with your own creativity. Now you guys can sculpt along with me as I, as I created this little fish character. And I'm hoping that by doing that, it gave you a little bit of a jump start, gave you a little bit of confidence to say, you know what, with those you know, simple, easy to follow steps, I can start there, I can do that. And then what I can do is I can smooth out the I can smooth out the clay, I can I can draw on it, I can do textures, I can create it however however it is that I want to make it. The goal here is to show you that it doesn't have to be scary, that anybody can do it and anybody can enjoy and really have fun with it. And then the amazing thing is that once you get that into your mind, you can take this and jump from here to wherever your imagination decides it wants to take you. So, look at that little guy. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this little process, this little video on getting started into creating. And I hope that you guys take it, create what I've done here, and continued on with your own little fish character and created something even more. Like I said, I want to give you a basis so that it inspires you to get started. However, I don't want to create so much to where you're just copying a piece and not putting your own spin, your own character, your own imagination, your own imagination into play. So there you have it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this and you've enjoyed creating your own special little characters. I'd love to see what you guys are making. And hopefully this has given you the inspiration to get started and jump in and make your own special little characters for yourself. Until next week, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you on another video.